Hey everyone, I know a lot of you guys are looking to get the RTX 3080, but ever since it launched, you just can't find it in stock anywhere. So today, I'm going to give you some of my best tips and tricks of places to actually find real cards as soon as you possibly can, because believe it or not, they are coming in stock in sporadic places. People definitely are getting them. I've been doing the most amount of research that I can, so I'm going to tell you the best tips and tricks to see if you can possibly score a card right now. Remember to subscribe, a lot more content content coming up and let's waste no time and get right into it. So today's video is simple. Everybody wants this. It's hard to get this. So we're going to see the best possible tips and tricks and strategies where we can actually find a card in stock. Now, I know this is a very time sensitive subject as the cards just came out. Everybody's going crazy. That's why I want to put this video out as quickly as possible for you guys. Also, remember me to follow me on social media. If I see something's in stock, I'll definitely make sure to mention it. My Instagram is at Classical Tech and my Twitter is at Classical Tech three so definitely follow me there if i see anything in stock i'll make sure to let you guys know on there as well so let's start with the tips and tricks number one i would suggest you guys check the evga site definitely make it one of your priority sites to check just because they've been one of the companies that are most active on social media one of their representatives evga jacob um, he's been posting some information and he said that evga has thousands of cards coming and of course remember that's going to be spread out not only on the EVGA site, but amongst all their sort of retailers and partners that sell this GPU. But definitely check the EVGA site, um, even take a look at their Twitter. You can see sometimes when they're going to have something in stock, or at least have an inkling of when these GPUs may come in stock. Even this week, I know that a couple of times already, they have restocked 3080s, and people have been able to order them. And of course, like always, they tend to go extremely quickly. But I think that these companies that are selling the GPUs now, at least they're a little bit more smart against bots and things like that and unfair practices than they were maybe last week during that really failed launch. So hopefully these websites are implementing much safer countermeasures in order to make sure everybody gets a chance at a GPU. So the EVGA website is definitely going to be the one that I would check. I remember even a long time ago during all that mining craze and it was at a time that I actually needed a gaming GPU. Everything was sold out and one of the few places that I was actually able to find a GPU in stock was on the EVGA website. So that's definitely a place that they're aware of the shortages. They have a nice social media presence. So if you want a nice tip to up your chances at getting the 3080, definitely that's one of the places I would make my priority. They even give you the option if you want to get notified if it's in stock. Sometimes these systems work great, but as we know last week, these email systems really failed, I think because of the massive demand. But hopefully, since the demand is more sporadic now, it's not like one big launch. It's more sporadic stock coming into a, a website site like EVGA. Hopefully you can get that notify email and maybe react much quicker than somebody else and make sure that you get your RTX 3080. So that's definitely one of the sites that I would check. I also heard a few people got lucky with EVGA's step up program. I think that's if you own the current EVGA GPU, you want to step up to something like a 3080. I also heard some people had an easier time actually getting an allocation, at least knowing they were going to get a GPU. So if that applies to you, make sure you check out that option as well. That could definitely be a way that you would get an RTX 3080 now and much faster. Now for tip number two, you should also be checking the NVIDIA website. Maybe they'll refresh as well. We know that this, the Founders Edition, has also been extremely popular mainly because of its very innovative design and cooler. Um, I actually did a video on this very subject recently on the 3080 cooler, if you guys want to check that out as well. But remember to check the NVIDIA site, is that recently they answered some questions about the launch, and one of the things they said is that, yes, they're producing these Founders Edition GPU still. They didn't just stop at a limited run. They're producing as many as they can. They felt like they had good stock for the launch, but as we know by now, they were completely blindsided by the huge demand, even they didn't see this coming, even with all the artificial intelligence, I know. But they had absolutely massive demand, so they pretty much sold out instantly. But according to them, they have been producing these GPUs since August, and they continue to produce them. So that means that on their website, hopefully there's a good chance that you may see some stock pop up. Um, and they also have a notify 
notify me option there that you get an email when something is in stock. Now, I would be careful with this because a lot of people got hosed by this very feature. They only got that notification email like an hour and a half after something went in stock. Of course, pretty much guaranteed when they went to check, there would be nothing at all in stock. Now, of course, Nvidia said this was due to the extremely high demand that they faced during launch. So your mileage may vary now that it's more sporadic releases. And also something else, Nvidia has moved everything to a dedicated server. Um, they mentioned that also when they were answering questions. So that's going to be definitely a big plus. Going to make your chances of actually getting one of these GPUs considerably better than it would otherwise. Considerably better because then at least you're not fighting against like servers going down and errors and glitches and everything that we experienced during the last launch. And of course, Nvidia is also well aware, I think more than any other company, of all the bots and scalpers that were out there. So definitely they have also taken countermeasures and different techniques as they mentioned themselves this is something they said themselves so you know that they're actually making their website much more resilient to any of these attacks and all that translates to you having a smoother experience at least in terms of being able to find the gpu and of course a lot of these will also apply to the 3090 and the 3070 launch so these changes are definitely positive that's why i recommend you guys check the nvidia site as well refresh um, that could be a place where you get lucky and you're able to get a gpu right away now tip number three of another place that you can check that often gets these gpus sort of on a sporadic term that's going to be if you live near a local micro center or a local best buy sometimes i've gotten lucky with really hard to find stuff they'll get like one or two things in stock um, and if you happen to be in the area maybe you walk into the store you can definitely pick some up in fact during last week's launch most of the people that seem to have gotten a 3080 and were successful, I would say the majority of them seemed like they got it from a real brick and mortar store like Micro Center, some from Best Buy. Um, I know Micro Center didn't have a huge amount in stock per store, but they definitely had more than a lot of places that people were trying. So I know that Micro Center and Best Buy people were definitely successful at getting them there. And of course, if it's a brick and mortar store, it's going to have a lot less traffic than something like Newegg or Amazon or the Nvidia store where everybody around the world has their eyes on at least a brick and mortar store you may have the chance of actually walking in and finding something in stock now i'm not too sure how often they're going to be replenishing this but i know they should sporadically be getting shipments in especially something this popular and since they're fairly big significant retailers i know that they probably have some type of priority as well not everyone has a micro center or even a best buy near them but for the people that do and you're having a hard time finding it online it may definitely be something that sometimes you can walk in maybe you're lucky and you can get it that same day that's pretty amazing now you can also keep an eye on their website but from what i've seen they're not really letting you sort of buy from the website to pick up in store yet anytime it's a new hot item like this usually they don't like micro center will stay like in store only anytime they've had these 3080s up on their website as you know other products up there on micro center you can actually reserve to pick up in store but in this particular case you have to actually walk in the store people have gotten these 3080s from these places so it's definitely a great tip of a place to go. And for tip number four, I would suggest that you guys check Newegg. Newegg may also have different updates sporadically throughout the week. They're definitely a very, very big retailer. So I would keep an eye on that. They have a variety of GPUs. They're also one of the websites that got absolutely hammered during the launch. Um, in fact, during the launch day, I was able to actually check out with an EVGA 3080. But unfortunately, even after checking out a few minutes later, I got a voided email saying that it was out of stock. So that was definitely very disappointing. Um, and Newegg themselves have said that they had more demand than even on Black Friday. So the amount of demand was really incredible, but we can think that hopefully these websites have implemented different measures to make sure that everything goes smoother. And it's definitely one of the places that when they do get stock, they also have like a notify system. Um, I would be wary of those. Sometimes they work and some people have definitely gotten GPUs right away way because it worked right away sometimes there could be a delay if there's a glitch in the system which is what happened last week so i would definitely try it anyway you have nothing to lose but i would definitely be refreshing that page um, something interesting that i saw that they put up they put up several pre-built computers of like various price ranges you know from like the high uh, 1000s to 2000 3000 
Um, all these pre-built computers seem to have an RTX 3080 in them already. It didn't say sold out, but it did say it was a pre-order. I believe October 9th is the date that these would be available. I don't know if this is an option for everybody, but if you were looking to get some type of pre-built, I guess technically you could try to sell the rest of the machine and keep the 3080, but you're definitely going to be overpaying for the 3080 if you do that, because I did a rough calculation and then the card would still come out to be significantly more expensive if you were planning to sell it. So I think this is only an option if you actually needed a system already and we mentioned in the previous video buying a pre-built to get the 3080 you can definitely check out different builders that are a little bit more boutique and custom like main gear uh, but this is definitely an option i just thought it was interesting they mentioned october 9th who knows maybe by then is when gpus are going to be more readily available and then of course there are other websites you can refresh and check there's like bnh photo in new york they often have gpus as well um, i haven't heard about people actually getting them from there yet but they have them on the website sometimes it may come in stock um, you could definitely look around um, different retailers different partners that will sell these gpus one thing that i'll definitely recommend against doing for you guys is going to like ebay or craigslist and buying sort of a much more expensive gpu than you have to there are a lot of people trying to take advantage of the situation on facebook marketplace you know ebay so i would avoid doing that just because i think pretty soon probably next month or in november these gpus are going to be coming into stock you know first sporadically but i think eventually nvidia will catch up with the demand and then the 3090 and then the 3070 will be here so i would avoid overpaying for these gpus on ebay i've seen some absolutely crazy amounts and crazy numbers even the ones that aren't too crazy are still substantially overpriced by like at least twice the value so I definitely don't think that's worth it. So I definitely don't think that's worth it. I would just hold off a little bit because I think stock will be coming across the board because I think stock eventually will start to get better. In October, I think we're definitely going to see a lot more GPUs than we're seeing now. Another thing that we can talk about is timing. It's hard to know when a certain website will post something, but sometimes something like these automated systems, it may be a good idea to check maybe at like midnight. Um, that's often when the day is rolling into the next one. Maybe a lot of these inventory systems in the past have seemed to be filled around that time. Um, it's also a time when there's not as many people online, but if you're looking for a GPU, it's definitely a time I think you should be checking. Um, and then another interesting time is going to be like 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Pacific. Now, that's the exact time that sort of the previous embargoes were lifted on reviews. It's the time that the GPUs were released or at least tried to be released on uh, last Thursday. So it's definitely a time that you should also be checking. They also have a few different websites where you can actually check stock across the board of various GPUs. I don't know how fast these are to update. So I think manually checking the, the websites, even though it's more tedious, you might have a better shot at getting these GPUs, but it doesn't hurt to check those sites as well. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks video on getting the 3080 i hope it was helpful for you hopefully you can use some of these methods and websites and sources to go and get a 3080 if that's what you're looking for and remember you'll be able to use these same strategies for a 3090 and a 3070 so best of luck to you guys let me know below if any of these were successful if you were able to actually get a 3080 so remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video